Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Eight months ago, I posted a video that Google had started testing tab group shortcut buttons in the Chrome bookmarks bar, which back then was in Google Chrome Canary version 101, which at that stage was Google's latest preview version of their desktop browser. Now, I'll leave a link in the description to that previous video. Um, but just to do a quick recap for the purpose of today's video, um, if I head to a tab, right click, click on the option add tab to new group. In the flyout menu for the tab group options, we get save group. As mentioned, toggle that on and let me just call that number one as an example. That tab group now has been saved as a quick shortcut button um, in the bookmarks bar. So even if I close that tab group, I can always refer back to that at a later stage and reopen and relaunch that tab group from the convenience of my bookmarks bar. And also, um, just a quick reminder that it's hidden behind an experimental flag. So we need to head to the experimental flags page. As many of you know, that's by entering Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags into the address bar. And just make sure that this flag is enabled. Tab groups save. Tab groups save needs to be enabled for that feature to work. Now, that was in Google Chrome Canary version 101, as mentioned. And at that stage, though, um, this feature to place a saved group uh, in the bookmarks bar as a quick shortcut button wasn't persistent. So it meant that the saved group would be removed from the bookmarks bar every time you closed and then reopened the browser. Now, nine versions later, in Google Chrome Canary version 110, which is now the latest preview version, um, Google has finally started to make the uh, save tab group button in the bookmarks bar persistent now across browsing sessions. So if I close Google Chrome Canary version 110 and I reopen the browser, you'll see now that that tab group is now persistent across my browsing sessions and will not be removed like it previously was in Google Chrome Canary version 101. And just to demonstrate once again, just to create a couple of extra tab groups, um, let's just call this number two, save group, and let's just make that red. There we go, so we can just see it, and let's just create another one. Add tab to new group, there we go, let's call that, uh, let's create a yellow tab group and call that number three, and there we go. So now you'll see if I close those out, and I close the browser in Chrome Canary version 110, those tab groups now are persistent across my browsing sessions, so they will remain there now, which I think is quite handy. And if I click on those, it will reopen those tab groups. And I think that's a nice move in the right direction. Now, if I want to close those tab groups, it's quite simple. I just right click on the actual um, the actual um, the description of the tab group, and I just go save group, toggle that off, and that tab you'll see that bookmark button has now disappeared. And if I want to close that group, I just click on that, and there you go. You get the idea. And I right click on number two, toggle save group off, and you can see that bookmark bar. Well, that bookmark button has been removed from the bookmarks bar. So now in Google Chrome Canary version 110, saving your tab groups is now persistent and will now be displayed across your different browsing sessions. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.